Con goddess and cosplayers, what are your cringiest and creepiest con experiences? Our first year tabling in the artist's alley at an anon con, there was this girl, probably 15 to 16, that won't leave us alone. If you've ever tabled at a con, or hung out with artist's alley people, you know the type, uninterested in what you're selling, just happy to have a captive audience, so they can drone on and on about their project, that they're never actually going to write down, but it's all there in their head, will never take the hint, that it's time to leave. She saw that we did commissions, and so she asked, if we did NSFW commissions. My artist isn't super comfortable drawing that kind of material, and she clearly looked underage, so we said no. She proceeded to keep needling us about it, and seemed to notice, that it made us uncomfortable. Well, this is clearly a reaction, which is all she's after, so she keeps on requesting increasingly fricked up commissions, that we do our best to ignore, while we desperately try to start a conversation with anybody else that will come within 10 feet of our table. By the time she's done, she has decided she really wants my artist friend, to draw her the kids from Grave of the Fireflies fricking each other, and also one of them is eating the other one's intestines. Eventually she decided she was bored and left. What makes this interaction stick out from other encounters with booth barnacles for me is the guy that was with her, around the same age, never said a word the whole time, but I could see in his eyes that he was deeply embarrassed by this girl's behavior and really just wanted to leave. I could just read the saddest short story in that kid's expression. Head found the one girl in his social circle that was into anim, and he was too socially awkward to realize that. Just because someone's into the same GQ shoot as you doesn't mean that they're not going to be absolutely insufferable to be around. In retrospect, I really wanted to take that young man aside and just say I don't know you, I don't know your life, but I'm just gonna say right now, you can do better. Run. Ed. Kringist, my husband cosplayed as Darth Vader around the time Ep7 came out. He was very popular because has 6, 4, and built like a Linebacker lots of requests for pictures. This guy who looked like he lived in his mother's basement came up dressed as a GD. And by GD I mean he was wearing a bathrobe and carrying an expensive looking lightsaber prop. He wanted to be recorded fighting Darth Vader. So he hands me his camera didn't even ask, takes his stance, and proceeds to have an aggressive lightsaber duel with my husband. Where most people duck about 15 seconds to get their poses photographed, this guy dueled for about 2 minutes. My stomach was in knots the whole time from the awkwardness. Darth husband eventually had to force choke him to end it. A massive and amazingly plotted out Sailor Moon panel was completely derailed by these two kids. They were about 10 and 12, a little young considering it was way late in the night, but it wasn't an adult panel, so they got in. Constant barrage of questions, anytime they started talking it lead to a 5 minute rant on how their classmates at school don't understand what being a notaku is like. The panelist was clearly flustered, but wasn't sure what to do about this, so she answered them, and let them go on. She got to cover maybe 20% of her panel. About half of the room of 70-ish people left, because it was just too much. This happened just last year actually. Me and my girlfriend were cosplaying Blitz and IQ from Rainbow Six, Siege at a relatively small con. Things were fantastic at the start. Lots of oh hey guys can I get a picture? Just felt pretty good to get some recognition. We had worked really hard on the costumes and even made Blitz's flash shield with working lights. A few hours in, and some guy in a costume I didn't recognize shouts Blitz. I need to fight you. Sure dude well pose for some fight pictures. No big deal. Well he didn't really grasp the concept of posing, and started actually punching my shield which was made of some relatively thin pegboard material and the view slot was just plastic. I told him to tone it down and just put his fist against against it, so it looked like he was hitting it in the picture. His response? It's the shield dude. It'll be fine. And punches the plastic right out of the shield. Impissed. My girlfriend is pissed. The dude is ecstatic. He throws up his fists and battle cries before running off. FCKU, dude. Years ago, my wife and I were at a smaller comic convention in Toronto. We were walking around the vendor section and came to a custom chainmail shop, staffed by a single girl 
probably 17 to 18, bout fitted in leather shorts, and her chainmail bra. I assume whoever else was working the booth with her left for a bit, anyways, it was just a single table and the backdrop behind her. A significantly older, very off-putting man was standing at her table, making bad smell talk, while taking multiple photos of the clearly weirded out girl. She looked over at us, and was practically screaming for help with her eyes. My wife pushed over to the table, and started talking and asking her product related questions, and the dude wandered off after a couple of minutes. At the same con, I left my wife alone for a bit, and she ended up cornered in a booth trying to be as polite as possible, while a random guy explained to her his theories, of how the joker is personification of pure chaos, and how he would just stab someone in the neck because he could. My tip for any guys looking to make small talk with random girls at a convention? Don't lead with how your favorite comic character is awesome, because he can murder anyone he wants at any time. I went to my first ever convention at the age of 13. I didn't dress up or anything, I just wanted to take pictures of good cosplayers. My friend and I spotted a very handsome and flawless Meroku cosplayer and Aisha was my favorite anime at the time. I was ecstatic and my friend pushed me in his direction, to take a picture with him. I scooted close to him, and, staying true to character, he groped my ass. It was the best goddamn day of my life. Years later, I realized how creepy it is to be 13, groped by a 20 year old, and have it be the highlight of my middle school days. Edit, middle school, not middle class mayo. Teenage homestuck cosplayers laying in the middle of the walkways outright dry humping and making out. When they were asked to move they made a huge shoot fit about it, accusing the staff of being homophobic. One time I was cosplaying as Felicia from Darkstalkers, a character who is a cat girl. This girl at a con just ran up out of nowhere screaming Glompanico as she launched herself at me and practically tackled me. Then she stood there hugging me without permission as I tried to extricate myself and she stank really really badly. Also, same con and costume, some obese guy who was watching a door to check for badges told me I couldn't come in until I hugged him. Volunteered for large cons for 15 years. Was on break talking to a friend cosplaying as Sailor Mars. She's an attractive girl and was sitting with myself and a con chair for a different con when a young male shuffled up. He opened by complimenting her costume. He then followed up with I fantasized about you since I was 13. I facepalmed and there was a pause and he just sort of shuffled away. Sailor Mars continued on our original conversation. I can only imagine the horrors she has had to put up with. For me it was last year at the Sydney's Mashanam convention. I saw the dark magician girl figure where you can see the panty shot at a stall and this dude was just hovering it for ages and looking at it in different angles, then started speaking to me about the underwear she was wearing, then went off about hentai. Whilst trolling this was a genuine conversation starter for this guy. A lot of cons now promote inclusiveness I, e, you should cosplay as who you want, etc. My husband and I were walking around, and he saw a girl wearing a great costume. She was with a group of people. He said oh, that's really great. For whatever reason, the group openly mocked him. Like, full on mocking, mimicking his words, everything. I'd get if, if they were teens, but everyone there was at least 25 plus, and my husband and I are in our 30s. Seriously, what? Was dragged to a pony can by a friend who promised it would be fun. I don't even like my little pony, but I went anyway. We stayed at the hotel that the con was being hosted at and the first day that we arrive we are waiting in the lobby when suddenly a random guy throws a pony toy in through the lobby doors. He then proceeds to run inside after it and squat into some ninja pose to retrieve it. He is wearing a free hugs shirt. His friend follows him in equally as nerdy. They spot us across the lobby and realize we are there for the con friend was in cosplay. They walk over, no freaking joke, pretending to be robots, and say hey ladies and point to their free hugs shirt. I look at my friend like, no freaking way am I hugging these greasy boys, and she just laughs and hugs them. I stand firmly with my arms crossed. She gives me the come on don't be an ass look, so I give in and hug them. They both hug me soul crushingly tight then leave. They had that lingering shooty pants smell on top of rodent killing bee. Oh. 
As they were walking away I heard one of them say dude hurt it has felt so soft against my chest. It's safe to say the rest of the con was hell too. We were selling at a pretty busy con, but things slowed down around the time of a big event, as they do. This guy had walked past our booth earlier stopped back by. He was obviously into steampunk which is what we sell, because head made his own mechanical arm with duct tape and gadgets and a bracer. We complimented his components, made general chit chat, while he glanced at our wares. He noticed we had some Doctor Who and Star Wars watches. So he spent the next 35 minutes telling us all about his fanfiction, where his character is the Doctor on his 14th generation, how he uses the TARDIS to go into the Star Wars universe at various times, to fix this or that, goes into a steampunk realm which is where his gadgets came from, then crosses into a series I didn't recognize, and may at one point have landed on Serenity, and given advice to Captain Mal. Because no one else was around, we were at his mercy. Finally people started coming back to the vendor room, and we made some excuse to get him to move along. TL. Doctor please please make sure someone is actually interested in your fanfic before you talk at them about it at length. Last year, my then fiancé cosplayed as Kamala Khan. This one really creepy guy approached us and started up a conversation with her about how great her costume was. Then he spent about 10 minutes talking her ear off about all the people that he wanted Kamala Khan to have sex with in the comics. Dude, we don't care if you think that seeing her with Gwenpool or Wolverine would be hot. It's pretty creepy. He asked her who she wanted to see have sex with Kamala, which got the response no one. She's 16. Meaning the character, not the fiancé, that didn't really stop him though. We ended up having to walk away from him mid-sentence, because he wasn't getting the hint. Edit, the ending and some clarification. The cringiest thing and creepiest things I've ever seen as a con actually both happened at a local convention held at a university. The cringiest one was a guy participating in a cosplay contest as his original steampunk character which would have probably been fine on its own. If he didn't answer all of the judges questions on stage awkwardly in character. The creepiest thing I saw requires some context. When we were at this same contest, the winner was a guy who was clearly in his 30s or 40s doing his own knock which was a samurai with a mask covering his face. He talked to my girlfriend and complimented her on her outfit and he seemed really nice every time we talked to him. But a day after the convention we found out that they revoked his award because they found he was sexually harassing young girls earlier that night and registered for the convention under a fake name. It was a local convention so most of the people there knew each other, but no one had any idea who this guy was. I attend and cosplay conventions a few times a year. Here are some of the things I've seen. My friends and I were trying to make our way through an extremely packed and drunk crowd at DragonCon. Some random, presumably intoxicated woman, came up to my friend, lifted part of his costume, grabbed his deck, and walked away. Never said a word to him. While waiting for an elevator, my friends and I watched this obviously just met but oh so in love couple hug and cuddle. The elevator came, and the girl got on with us. No shoot, she extended her arm in a real never let go fashion to him, and then after the doors closed, she leaned her head against them and sighed dramatically. At a panel on fan fiction writing, there was a middle aged man going up to the people, seated in his nearby radius, asking them to read a printed version of his latest Pokemon story. I was one of those people. The writing was awful, but I tried to give whispered constructive criticism, but he wanted to loudly discuss the pros of his story all, while the people leading the panel were trying to host a discussion and answer questions. I tried ignoring him, straight up telling him to lower his voice, and telling him I had nothing to say, but he would not leave me alone. He was clearly autistic, so I did not want to be blatantly mean to him, or trigger a bigger disruption, but damn. Later that night I saw him at a karaoke event where he attempted to sing the Digimon theme song. In Japanese, it went about as well as you'd expect. My friend and I cosplaying as Sailor Jupiter and Sailor Venus. We're used to people stopping us for photos and compliment us on our costumes, but one guy clearly took a photo of only our legs. Oh I have a couple. This one is more of a funny cringe. Couple years ago I had a cosplay of Janna from League of Legends. 
Now it's fairly skimpy, so I expect some ogling, but at the same time, I'm fairly flat chested and the costume covers more than most of my swimsuits. It's really nothing crazy. We were all hanging out in the registration line, when this kid comes over, and starts talking to me, and my friend about league my friend is dressed as Leblanc the entire time, has staring straight at my chest, never takes his eyes away. Kinda a weird experience for me, since I'm flat chested. Anyways after like 5 minutes of only Bob staring, he must have realized I noticed, so he apologizes for only looking at my chest. Only he still wasn't able to make eye contact, so my bobs received the apology. Scariest was I believe the same con. Me and Leblanc we wandering around a more public area in the convention center and a couple of older 30s guys who weren't going to the con were asking questions about what the hell was going on. We explain and chat for a bit then wander off. We're walking down a longer hallway, getting stopped a fair amount for pics it's weird for some reason Janna and Leblanc get a lot of pics slash s, and we notice the two guys are still behind us. Whenever we stop for a pic, they stop too, and try to look like they're not following us. We kept going for a bit till we realize that the con is pretty much all behind us, and there's far less people here, so we turn around. The guys stand awkwardly there till we pass them again, and start following again. Alarm bells are now ringing. We tried passing around a divider in the hall, and they still followed. I'm now searching for security, and we're kinda booking it towards somewhere you need a badge to get in. Finally we made it to the artist's alley and dug in. Didn't see the guys again thankfully.